mentioned the issue of IEBC as sort of the main discussion. Right now, you're insisting that all the other issues that were part of the Azimio demands must be addressed. We have also seen the Kenya Kwanzaa parliamentary leadership uh, talk about this particular process to even state that there will be no handshake, which again, uh, your team has insisted. Perhaps if the president insists uh, on what all Kenya Kwanzaa insists on what was on their list, uh, what then happens? Then secondly, we understand that the U.S. Senator for Delaware, Chris Coons, just left the country yesterday. Uh, would you please confirm or deny that the U.S. and President Joe Biden was part of the discussions that may have happened between Azimio and Kenya Kwanzaa? Thank you. Let me first uh, begin by uh, the first question that you asked. We, of course, uh, talked ourselves. Mr. Ruto made his statement. But I just want to say that that was not the basis of the understanding between uh, the parties that were neg negotiating or talking between us. That statement fell far short of what had been agreed, and they, they know it. And that's why in our own statement, we reiterated firmly what was going to be the basis of our engagement with uh, Kenya Kwanzaa. And what we have reiterated in this statement is not different. We have actually mentioned the same, same issues that we said we wanted to be addressed. Those are the issues which made us go to the streets. And we mentioned them clearly. One, auditing of the servers so that we can put this matter to rest. Uh, we understand that some people are trying to tamper with the servers. They need to know that we are watching them. We know it, uh, and we also know that that's why we are talking about a forensic audit by experts, so that the truth can come out finally, uh, and we put that to, to the end. Secondly, we mentioned the issue of the cost of living of our people, and we know that our people are suffering. Somebody who does not know that does not live in Kenya. We know so many of our people who cannot put a bread on the table. And we said we will not rest until this matter is resolved. And we said that the government does not even need any co committee on this issue. We have just talked about basic costs. We have talked about hunger. We talked about fuel, about electricity, the school fees. Uh, as very basic issues that the government can address without much, much problem. Um, secondly, I don't know uh, where you got your information from, but Senator Kuntz left Nairobi, um, I think uh, it was on, uh, on Sunday last week, because um, I talked to him on Monday, and he had already arrived in Washington, D.C., um, because he met the other side, and he also came and met with us. And we told him exactly uh, what, we, what we know and the reason why we are actually going to the streets. And he said that that is our democratic right, to go to the street to protest peacefully. He did not see anything wrong with us doing that at all. So, um, uh, but we need to know that we are not a colony of the United States. So we do things as Kenyans. Uh, we are happy when our international friends want to come and make suggestions how we should resolve our issues. But ultimately, Kenyan problems must be solved by Kenyans, Kenyan leaders. That's the reason why we said we are calling a, a truce, a ceasefire, to give negotiations a, ch a chance. But we want to reiterate very clearly here that if the other side does not cooperate, then we will have no other option but to go, go back to the trenches. And this will be maybe as early as sometimes next week. We'll take two more questions. All right, sir. My name is Emmanuel Toh from KTN News. Uh, two questions. One, um, are you already having a list of those 
uh, members who will be in the committee in the bipartisan talks? Do you have a list of those who will be there and who will be leading the team? Number two, are you warming up or are you ready for the position of the official opposition uh, if that is floated? Thank you. Yes, we know who is going to represent us. Uh, it has been suggested that we'll have a committee of 14, that is four, I mean seven, seven. Uh, this is uh, from Parliament, both houses of, 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 of Parliament. But we have said that this process, we want it to be akin to the process that was led by Kofi Annan. That is going to be going to have members of Parliament, it, but they are going to sit outside Parliament. They will negotiate and only take the final product to Parliament uh, as the, an accord, which will then be passed by Parliament. We, we don't want it to be taken and then be encumbered with the, 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 those rules and so on of, of Parliament. We want it to be uh, a, a, a process that is people driven. My name is Chamutai Goyen. Yeah, and now about, uh, 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 so, you know, I want to make it very clear. We have never talked about a handshake. That is a language coming from the other side. They're the ones who have been saying, oh, these people, Unataka to handshake, Nusumukati, and so on. Take it to Mr. Gachago. Tell me, I don't even want to shake his hands. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Chamutai Goin from Citizen TV, mm. and um, I have one question. Uh, looking at the bipartisan approach, is your team maybe concerned about um, the neutrality of parliament, uh, alive to the fact that there have been a lot of movements that have been witnessed? And is, why, is that why maybe there's that call to have external uh, individuals who are not members of parliament, noting that may, maybe there would be uh, allegiance to the various parties that they represent? Now what we have said is that we will have our members of parliament negotiating with their members of parliament. But we have also a team to which that team negotiating is going to be reporting to. And we expect that uh, the other side will also have a similar structure. Uh, we will not say that these other ones are also going to be negotiating. We will have members of parliament negotiating, but they are going to be res uh, answerable to a team of leadership from Azimio. Last question. Uh, my name is Justice Cheng from Daily Nation. Uh, so, Diga, you mentioned that uh, there were prior meetings between members of your team and members from the government uh, side and that the President's address fell short of uh, the issue that uh, had been discussed. Maybe what are these issues that were discussed and who are these members of these teams and when did they meet? Uh, that is not really an issue of, 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 of concern to you <laughs> when they met and so on. Uh, and those, those who met actually uh, were representatives, uh, uh, emissaries from both sides. But you need to know that the request came from the other side. Uh, and our people responded and gave conditions. There have even been allegations that I met Mr. Ruto maybe I don't know in the Mara and so on, <laughs> nothing could be further from the truth. There's been no meeting between me and Mr. Ruto. But we say that um, the, the statement did not include what we had, ag had been agreed. And that's why we took the opportunity uh, and the privilege to reiterate the issues that were put on the table. I think that was, that was a